Welcome back to another video on the Golf VR6. Um, today we need to finish off putting the remainder of the interior in. So all of this we need to get back into there. In the last episode we um, did put the majority of the interior in so we assembled all the front of it. Put the remainder of the um, sound editing in, all the centre console in. But we did also come across the issue with the shift box that decided to disconnect itself so we still got that issue to solve but today we're going to start on the back get the remainder of this interior in Now all that's in, start off with the door cards now, for the back, the filthy though, so they need a good uh, quick wipe down, so we'll just spray them down with a bit of water, and, uh, <coughs> you see, filthy, so we just give them a little,
with this clip it literally looks like it was uh, nice and easy for the seat to go in but I can assure you it took a good couple of hours of messing about seat in seat out it was a pain in the backside okay so that's the driver's seat in a bit fiddly messing about with the um, little clip there it's a bit of a pain in the backside but got there in the end Right guys, that's going to be all for this video. Um, in the next video, we'll finish off trimming and roof lining. Um, we'll get the passenger seat in. The reason why that's not in is just purely down to need to fix the tilt on it. Other than that, everything's buttoned up on the um, interior of the car. And we'll just need to fix off the shift box. Do a little bit of tidying up underneath. And then we've just got um, a few more things left to, left to do on the Golf. And then that'll be it for it. So um, stay tuned for the next episode.